What is up LEGO family, CJ here from LEGO Game Guides and if you're anything like me, you know there's nothing more time consuming than stud farming, especially in LEGO Batman the video game. Some of these unlocks don't come cheap and definitely add up over time. In this video, I'll show you what I found to be one of the fastest, if not easiest ways to rack up major studs with little to no effort. But before we go any further guys, let's get those likes up and most importantly, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell so that you're always up to date with the latest and greatest from the channel. Okay, so first let me mention that power-ups are absolutely essential to this strategy. In normal cases, you can unlock these by collecting power bricks, but for the sake of time, we can actually do this all from the cheat codes menu. Cheat codes can be entered from either the second floor of the Batcave or in the very first room of Arkham Asylum. We'll start off by entering stud multiplier codes 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now what's really cool with these five power-ups is that they actually stack, meaning that for every one stud collected, its value will be multiplied by a whopping 3,804. Not only is this super helpful when it comes to farming, but will also have us maxing out stud counters in a matter of seconds. Taking things up a notch, we'll unlock the stud magnet power up, which as implied attracts studs to you and character studs. Finally, we'll unlock the invincibility power up and Harley Quinn's hammer truck, which you'll see come in handy later on in the video. Just as a quick side note guys, all codes mentioned here will be in the description below and should work across console and PC versions of the game. Now that we've unlocked all the necessary power-ups, let's go ahead and activate them from the pause menu and we are officially ready to go. In this video we'll be using Two-Face Chase, the third level of episode 1. The first two maps of the level aren't necessarily the most important, but nonetheless will get you around 300 million studs, give or take. Simply destroy everything in sight and you should be in good shape. The real farming takes place in the third and final map where you encounter Two-Face's armored truck. Switch on to Harley's hammer truck if you haven't already and position it facing the ramp just ahead. Here, vans will be dropping down infinitely and in groups of four. As opposed to any other vehicle, Harley's hammer truck gives us that much needed height advantage to take these guys out either from a distance or up close, prompting faster enemy respawns. These four vans in total should net you a good 10 million per round and will keep coming just as long as they're destroyed. Now occasionally, Two-Face will send some suicide bombers your way. But with invincibility and character studs enabled, this will only provide additional studs at zero the cost. He also has the tendency to either crash into you or straight up get in your way. But nonetheless, just reposition yourself towards the ramp and wait for him to pass. The important thing is just to keep him on all four wheels so you don't end this level sooner than it has to. Now in just 8 minutes, I was able to get a little over a billion studs here, excluding the 300 million studs I got from the two maps prior. By grinding this out an additional 24 minutes or more, you can also kill two birds with one stone here and unlock the richest man in Gotham achievement, which requires 4 billion studs total in your current inventory. Whatever the case guys, please make sure you save and quit before leaving this level. The studs collected here are only put into your inventory after saving. Now at this point, we've officially reached the end of the video. If you followed along, big congrats to hopefully being crowned the richest man in Gotham. You may be just as rich, if not richer than Bruce Wayne himself or even the richest in all the LEGO DC universe. Which leads me to wonder, who actually is the richest character in DC? Anyway guys, leave a comment below if you happen to know, and if you have a go-to farming strategy of your own, definitely let us know. Thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that like button. Once again, I'm CJ from LEGO Game Guides, and until next time, keep on building.